Hello YouTube. This is KC7 WZL. This is my first video, so please bear with me. I thought I would take this chance to explain about me and my channel. I'm an amateur radio operator. Note the uh, the name of the channel. Kilo Charlie 7 Whiskey Zulu Lima in phonetics. Um, it's my ham radio call sign. Uh, I love doing things with my hands like you know, make, uh, doing models, woodwork, general tinking, etc. Um, uh, I'm not any good at any of it, but eh, what the heck, it's about having fun, right? Um, this, I don't know if y'all remember, uh, Dr. Cranky several years ago, a couple years ago at least, uh, did a, a group build on Model Cars Magazine uh, forum on the, the Toothless Zombie Hunter. Well, this was uh, my start on the Toothless Zombie Hunter, and well, life, you know, of course, intervened, and I never finished it. This is where she's kind of left at. Um, it's a Ford Aero Max. Uh, Chassis married to a Sherman tank uh, tracks that uh, is from testers. It's more like a toy. It's not really a model, but uh, I won't go into that one. Um, I took uh, the stainless steel screen from one of those uh, pan uh, anti-splitter guards for my windows glued it in place. That was a fun trip, let me tell you. Um, and of course I put the turret on top of the cut the top of the uh, sleeper, put the turret on there. I'm going to use a, a baby powder bottle for a tank. Um, this is kind of the, the fuel supply, you know, mow through the zombie truck. Uh, what not to my build um, first you know like I said I I put in the uh, uh, stainless steel I had to use uh, super glue but I also had to use sandwiches to super glue between uh, the plastic body and a little plastic tab because the super glue would not adhere to the stainless steel mesh at all I fought and fought and fought and just couldn't do it so that's how that came about. I would take it apart further so you can see, but um, I'm trying to make sure the stainless steel doesn't pop out until, you know, before painting. Um, this is just mock up. I sanded the wheels because, well, the tread pattern was pretty ugly to begin with. Took the chrome off using just good old fashioned bleach. You know, many people had bad luck getting bleach off of their, off their wheels, but or you know or sorry using bleach to remove chrome um, but I found as long as you have good fresh brand new bleach and you pleat and and your parts are clean when you put the chrome parts in there it will remove that chrome pretty quick I mean it was no more than five minutes in the bleach for these and uh, the chrome is pretty thick on reveal models um, of course there's the the drive line you know like i said it's more of a toy than a model but hey i won't go there that's what i could find though um i am going to use that to my advantage though because i'm going to use that battery box because i am going to run lights um i get a green light to go on the inside of the cab um i run headlights on it and i'm going to try to put clearance lights on there as well um but that's where I'm at with that one. Now on to uh, a little quick unboxing. This is a Lindbergh 132 scale 1949 Ford two-door coupe. Uh, I picked this up the other day for six bucks. It's a good little simple kit that when you're like me and I've been out building models for a long time, it's just something to get back into the, 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 the flow of things um, when I first opened the kit I realized that the you know one reason why Lindbergh kind of went out of business yes they were cheap models but you know half a penny for a bag come on if they would have bagged the glass it would have stayed non-scratched um, 
the the printing of the instruction manual very simple thank goodness it's a simple model because it's unlegible you i mean you can can't even hardly read any of it it's just really horrible quality on the printing um but then again it's a simple model i've built tons of models in my life i've been building models for 25 30 years um off and on uh here's the white parts uh pretty good molding detail i mean there's some scratches and stuff like that which is to be expected i mean that's just the nature of the beast but the flashing is pretty hard because you know Lindbergh, they just you know run them run the mold to death they really didn't you know do anything to keep them good and well of course the mold was originally made back in the 60s so high precision that we have now in today's mold just weren't there but it's still a good kit nonetheless for for simplicity reasons um but beans how it's got foggy glass i decided i was going to add this to beans how it's also the same scale to my zombie hunter uh, uh crew uh, this is going to be a, a scout car i'm going to put some screen mesh in the windows i'm going to try to rust and gunk it up you know it is you know 60 year old car um one thing I noticed not only did it have a lot of flash I mean this is I mean a lot of flash look at that on the dash there but um, they crammed the parts in the bag and you know parts got bent like this I bent it back a little bit but uh, I'm just gonna eat you know the way it is uh, anywho is enough of the rant on the open box I just thought people would like to know what was inside these 132 scale Lindbergh kits I mean they're just a simple model and you know sometimes it's nice to get back to simplicity um people <laughs> will real fret that oh my gosh you gotta glue the sides on the car it's not that bad um you just gotta take your time at it use a, a, a slower glue and just take your time and and you gotta you know press and push into place and it will it will glue together fine you, you know, i mean the seams will all but disappear i don't know if i'm catching that in the camera or not uh Unfortunately, with the camera I'm using, I cannot see what I'm doing, so I just kind of shoot and pray for the best. Anyways, like I said, uh, this is just kind of an intro video, you know, breaking the ice somewhat. Um, I plan on doing models on here, some how-tos, you know, the magic wave hand, you know, hey. Uh, you know, just have fun with it, you know, life's too short. Uh, I'm gonna do a video on my homemade spray booth. Um, I need to set me up a little uh, uh, timer uh, due to uh, the limitations of recording time of the, of the camera. Anyways, uh, back to what I was saying is um, I, I plan on you know not just doing models. I, I I have a broad spectrum of hobbies and I just don't want to narrow myself down to one thing. I know people say, well, don't do that because you'll just you know bore people to death. Well. So be it. Uh, it, it. The channel's about me. Um, I, I will try to keep it interesting. I mean, I'm not, you know, too, I don't know, I guess, I don't know. But uh, basically, I just uh, wanted to break the ice and uh, talk about myself and a little few things and uh, experiment. Like I said, I've never used this camera before on doing videos. I I've never really shot any well I've shot videos with actual camcorders back in the past but nothing with you know these little point and shoot cameras um, so I'd like to also say thank you to uh, Dr. Cranky and uh, Fast Jimmy 71 um, some people at uh, Marla Car Magazine Forum several other people on YouTube that I just can't think of the name of right at the moment um for giving me uh well and i also like to give uh, a thanks to uh uh bob heil and and uh a few others uh for for you know them putting videos out and encouraging an amateur no talent hack like me to you know just do one too um they they've 
they broke the ice for a lot of us, especially, you know, like Fast Jimmy 71, he uses his, cam his uh, phone for a camera, and, you know, he's not no experienced producer. I mean, he just gets in there, does his videos, and have fun. So that's what I'm kind of going to do, too. Um, please comment, rate, subscribe, all that fun jazz everybody says. Uh, I, I hope uh, to do this some more and uh, whatnot. Uh, yeah. Anywho, so I'm getting too long winded. Uh, have a good day and uh, thanks. Bye.